Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Drakengard. In the last episode, we defeated the uh, troops outside, and now we're going to head into the Pit of Doom. The altar where we'll have to fight the little girl. They must not reach the altar. Stop them. Who's they? We're gonna stop them, alright. I'm gonna stop them with my blade. Anyways, this would be a good idea to use Leonard for this part because we're in a small area. And his, uh. And his. Whoops, wrong sword. And his, uh. His weapon, or his magic attack, would be much better against a lot of these guys than Ariosha's. Just because they, ta they like, home. They do, like, homing thingies. And they, uh, they don't, they're like, I don't know. Anyways, this is gonna be the finale, or ending one, I'm gonna call it, because, uh, there's gonna be, there's multiple endings, as I mentioned in this game, and this is gonna be ending number Mama one. Mama is protected by the evil spirits. Yeah, so her name... Justice is in league with demons. Her name is Mana. Like, Mana, but with an H. So yeah, we do, this is just gonna be like a bon, a, a, I was gonna say boss gauntlet, but we really haven't fought any human uh, bosses. So this is just gonna be a gauntlet of enemies constantly coming at you. Every enemy that you've met before, you're gonna be fighting in this section here. These big ass guards, any kind of wizards, undead guys, wraiths, everything. Everything is gonna be thrown at you in this section. And yes, I did die. And yes, I did cut it out. Because if I didn't, we'd be here for quite a while. Boom, there you go. Yeah, so this is, like I said, going to be a gauntlet of, of enemies. There is a healing treasure chest if you... Uh, well, I'll show you. I get a minute. If you need it. But use it when you need to, uh, you need to get HP back because, like I said, there's a lot of waves of enemies. And this, the, you know what? Whoever cleans the floors here in this temple, you must be strong. I will be strong. All right, leave me alone. I got this. There we go. Don't be afraid to use your uh, your allies here. But the, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, whoever cleans the temple floors here. They did a hell of a job. The temple custodian. Great job. They deserve a raise. The Empire might have massive armies that destroy people and, and seals and all that stuff. Hey look, there's stuff on the walls there. I really never get a good chance to like look at the pictures on the walls because I'm too busy destroying these guys. And see over there, that's the healing treasure chest if you need it. I'm gonna try not to use it for a little bit. You see, there's gonna be, a, like I said, a lot of waves. This is wave two. It's like the ocean is crashing on time. And he, you know, and, and you can't just go up there and stab a uh, man, mana right in the face. Because it doesn't work that way. Welcome to wave three, by the way. Welcome to Wave 3, where it's more undead soldiers. Yeah, see, all she's doing right here is dancing. And look at that, she's, there's a bunk bed over there. Huh. Interesting. Why would anyone need a bunk bed? Maybe it's her and the demons are sleeping. You know, I hope she called Topsy. If you had a bunk bed, where would you go? What, who would, what, what one would you would you rather be on the bottom or the top? I don't know. It really depends if you're afraid of heights, I guess. I guess you wouldn't want to sit on the top. But if you're not, I guess you'd be on the bottom, maybe. I don't know. You don't want, any, you don't want the top falling on you. You went in the bed and then it just seeps down through. My brother and I had bunk beds. Back when we were children. The Empire. And I always slept on the bottom. 
there we go. Look at this. We're destroying these guys. Wave 3. Actually, the last couple of waves are the waves that I don't care for. Mainly because of uh, the, the wizards. The wizards, they suck. They can eat me. Oh, come on. But yeah, this is going to be ending one. We're going to see the first of five endings. La 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 la. The watchers, they, they speak. speak. They speak. La 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 la. How creepy is that, huh? It's like at points the girl speaks and at points he speaks. The creepy watcher guy. Whoever he is, maybe he's not even a guy. Or something. But anyways, welcome to the fourth wave. More zombie soldiers. More undead. Along with these guys. I should really summon Ariosh. But the thing is, when you summon a guy, you actually, uh... You actually lose all your magic. Like... Each stored up magic you had, so it's a good idea to use all that before you summon your ally. There we go. Alright, bring it. Bring it, bring it, bring it. There she is dancing. La 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 la. What normal person says la 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 la? Like a kid, obviously. I wonder what happened to this kid that she turned into such a psychopath. Maybe she wasn't loved. All right, here we go. Oh, this is where I would bring in your your partner, and what you want to do is take out the wizard. If you take out the wizard, you take out you take out the wraith. And of course, come on! Leave me the hell alone! See, this is why you need to use Leonard. He's so much better at this section. There we go. I forget what the hell this wave is. Five or six now? And apparently, look, the, the damn... You know, this, the uh, Salaman thing works, but not the Undine thing in here. What the hell? The seals are broken. Whatever you do. No, I cannot be defeated. Really? I don't know, maybe you can be defeated. Aw, oh, shit, this is like a cluster F of stuff. Oh, my children! Yeah, this wave is a bitch. Run away! Turn around and try this again. There we go. Those wizards are real ass bags. Don't hide behind the goddamn such pillar. Evil hatred in a child such as this. Yeah, can you believe it? What kind of what kind of craziness? So yeah, now you just gotta kill Wraiths. Yeah, her sword sucks. Again, Leonard would be perfect for this. There are still more. Yeah. Not escape this oh man, oh man, another wave. This is like wave nine. Oh, my children. Bring on the Ario. Well, actually, you should probably, like I said, Leonard would do wonders, but we got them. I hate these wizards, especially that they're magic. Game. Only the priestess remains. If she can be stopped. Um, I don't think anything's gonna happen if we stop her. That's all I'm saying. We did it. You Woo. shall pay dearly for the destruction of this world. Yeah, let's kill her. Let's kill her! And we didn't even go up a level for all that killing we did. That's bull. So yeah, that's the last of the uh, 
of this stuff and this stuff. All right, let's destroy that priestess. The last man that stands alone. Bertolet stops Kime from extracting his revenge. The killing of a child, no matter how evil, is a crime too great for any soul to bed. Instead, Bertolet steps forward to mercifully seal the evil within the child. See if it'll work. Please, I am the Hierarch. This is my duty. You still try to live. Pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> Way to go, Ray. You just made a giant. She breaks the seal and becomes a giant. What monster is this child? You just made a giant Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. When someone asks you if you're God, you say yes. So now we have to take on giant floating mana in the sky. Basically, she's not too hard right here. Her face, this face. get bounced back from her attack right here then when the when the, the child cry for Gaia may the gods have mercy there's no point in trying to target her it's just better to use your your power your firepower ah anyways uh, you want to hit her right in the center there in the chest area that's where the hitbox is I guess Yeah, so just keep hitting her. Remember our pact. You must not die. I'm not going to. I don't plan on it. Now here's her second phase where she shoots rings out. And basically you gotta dodge the rings. Uh, not like what I just did there. But keep hitting her right in the gut. The rings will get faster, and eventually they'll get diagonal as well, and then that's when you really gotta watch out. What you wanna do is if you get too close, just fly away and then go back in. Don't worry, after a certain point, the rings just kinda disappear. So yeah, now that they're coming very fast, you really gotta kind of dodge quite a bit. And once again, if you do get very close like this, get the hell out of there. Oh shit, I died. Ah, oh, damn. She breaks the seal and becomes a giant. What monster is this child? Alright, now watch what I'm gonna do here. See how they're gonna shoot this stuff? Wait till they- Aw, oh, come on, that wasn't that. Uh, well, apparently I can't lead by example there. So you see where those buckles are near where her little cape is on? If you hit her right in the, in the, in the gut right there, that's where, that's where the hitbox will be. That's where you can really do the damage. I almost dodged that. Now 
we're gonna start with the ring business, so let's fly back. Does the child cry for Gaia? May the gods have mercy. Listen, if the gods were gonna have mercy, they would have uh, helped us out a while back, alright? The gods don't have any mercy. Either that or they're dead. Like I said, I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna try not to die. But yeah, isn't this the weirdest final boss you've ever seen? Don't worry. They get weird. Anyways, your fire doesn't go through these rings, so... Make sure to just lock onto her stomach with, the, you know, just a cursor. And then just hit, 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 hit. And now that she's about a quarter of the way done with her HP, just fly the hell out of there. Like I should have done before, I got a little too greedy. This is the enemy. Do not flinch. The enemy of all humanity! I'm not gonna flinch. She's a giant, floating child. And as you can see, you can kind of get like... You just gotta dodge these things. It's kind of hard. This really reminds me of Star Fox for some reason. And then when you... Yeah, right in her boobs. Anyways, don't feel overwhelmed by all these rings. They actually open up so you can hit them. But yeah, right here. Oh wow, I dodged that. Whew, I thought I was that was it. Only a couple more hits to do here. As you can see the rings, they start to spread out, but they get like closer together closer you get. And for some reason it feels like if I hit them with the fire they might go away, but don't look that way. Yeah, look at this. We almost got her. One more. One more. Yeah! Take that little child bitch. That doesn't sound like he's screaming, it sounds like he might be a little constipated. I'm just saying. So congratulations, if you beat Giant Floating Mana, you have beaten the game! At least the first ending. Let's see how they'll deal with him. <laughs> It is their last judgment. We will be transformed. We fear nothing. We are loved. You hate me, don't you? Kill me if you want. Come on, warrior. Kill me. Kill me. Don't hold back. Whoppity wop! Kill little mana! I don't mind. I am loved! I am loved, you know! See? Mother has to love me. If the gods love me. <laughs> Kill me! Kill me! If you don't, I'll, I'll do something! If you hate me, then kill me! Who shall become the seal? 
We must find a new goddess at once. Another sacrifice to the seal. I am no priest. I am an executioner. Kaim, I am tired again. Bore me as you did before. shall be the seal. No human can match my strength. But do you know what you offer? You had best do it before I change my mind. Wow. For the first time in history, a dragon is going to be the seal. And we defeated Mana, and we leave her alive. Now, I believe this supposedly is supposed to be the canon ending for Dragon Guard 2, but I want to say there's there there's something else that happens before this. But anyways, yeah. Um, Galek, Nelly, Frey, Natila. 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 Gods, is it your will that we should live on? Yeah, maybe. So yeah, in the end, the world was saved by the uh, the kindness of a dragon and the pact between her and her partner there, Kaim. And the world is now sealed, and all the seeds of resurrection are gone, and everything's. Right with the world. Anguish of an unsmiling watcher. Yeah, I think this is ending A. Anyway, supposedly this is the canon ending. Canning, meaning, I don't know, what most people believe to be the real ending of the game because uh, the dragon becomes the seal, or Angelus. Now I can finally say her name. I didn't want to give it away until until the end here, because I thought it, it was an important little part of the game that you should learn it through the actual gameplay, rather than me just telling you through a spoiler or something. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, in this version, I don't think this is the canon ending, because there's something else that happens before this that we didn't see that also alters what happens in Dragon Guard 2. But remember that in Dragon Guard 2, now that the dragon is actually the uh, the uh, the seal, but I think there's another ending that's similar to this. I think could be wrong. 
But anyways, we beat the first ending. That's pretty awesome. It's a good game. I enjoyed it. I probably will, depending on the, uh, depending on the endings, like, uh, like credits and whatnot, I might not show the credits every single time. But it does give us a chance to talk and, uh, discuss about the game. Even though it really doesn't give us a chance to talk, it gives me a chance to say something. And I think uh, this game is very good. We're not done yet. This is the first of five endings. It's, uh, it's pretty good. The other ones, though, there's more. There's a lot of things left un undiscussed in this ending. Like now, we've noticed that Mana is very is a very effed up child. Maybe we'll learn more about her past and her family uh, in 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 more chapters. Who knows? And also with with Inuart and Furiai, we never ended up chasing after them to see if Inuart did anything. And so yeah, those are two two things left uh, left up up to uh, up to the game right now. You know that we're gonna find out about. Another thing we're gonna find out about. Seeds of Resurrection. No one actually did anything with them in this ending. I wonder if they're actually going to be used. We will have to find that out. I really like the fact that they do have multiple endings in the game. It really gives the game a lot of replayability. Uh, and I just think it's pretty cool. And there's the quality assurance manager, David Ribbs Car Carello in every Square Enix game that I can think of as the head quality assurance guy. He's been there quite a while, hasn't he? He's been working with Square Enix or Square for a long, long time. But yeah, we're going to find out a lot more. And also, after this episode, right after this episode, uh, I'm going to show the bonus, the little bonus clip that I didn't show from earlier, if you just stay at the Drakengard title screen for a bit, you'll see like this whole thing, and it's, it's, uh, it won't be as much of a spoiler now as it was, as it would have been if I showed you back in the beginning of the game, because it kind of gives away that Furiae dies, and, uh, yeah, I didn't want you guys to know that until she actually died, so... But it does give little hints and stuff of what might go on a little later, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed uh, this Let's Play. There's much more to be shown. A lot more, in fact. As I'll show you in a moment. So, yeah, all you have to do here is just let it go, let it fade. They'll let you save your game, right? On sacrifices countless, will a new shrine be built by the hands of the gods? And I think that's Kaim's voice. See, now, I wonder if he gets, since she kind of disappeared, she became a goddess and, like, warped into another dimension, right? I wonder if, uh, if his pact was broken then. I don't think it, ha it has been, because they're both still alive. So, what you have to do now, you beat the game, you come in here, you load your game... And I'll show you some of the stuff that we're going to be checking out in the next few episodes. Actually, I'm going to probably, before we start any of the new story stuff, I'm going to go back and do some free expedition stuff. So, we can go to Chapter 8, and we did all that, but there's more stuff in Chapter 9. Yes, that's right. And in Chapter 10, and then I think there's up to 12 chapters. I think each chapter is an ending, I want to say. But, we're going to head back to Chapter 4... And learn about uh, a mother's farewell and all this stuff here. But yeah, we'll, we, we ha we'll have to do this in the next episode. But we're actually going to do some free expedition missions, gain some weapons and stuff. And then, yeah, so I'll see you later. Bye-bye.